all right some people may be on commercial it looks like we had four that sucks so i think we will wait again uh about 10 more seconds lovely commercials by ustream all right i think we're clear okay again um these are the rules that are posted for the plaza property for all these businesses that are here I'm not going to go too far into it, but I mean everything from Starbucks to Nima to Boar's Head, which is great because that takes the EBT and they make very excellent sandwiches. Anyways, the rules for the plaza are very specific while not being stated in any way down by the park in the same way, but this is basically uh, all on properties. So again, read out, California Plaza, 300 and 350 South Grand Avenue, Los Angeles, California, blah, blah, blah. Rules and regulations. California Plaza is a private property following list you know before I read this if there's someone on chat um, tell me if this is uh, coming out or not or if uh, I'm just keep reading until somebody tells me otherwise it's basically this list is not exhaustive and the owners McGuire properties one Cal Plaza LLC and McGuire properties two Cal Plaza LLC reserve the right to enforce additional rules and regulation as permitted by law regulation applicable agreements the owners may change these rules and regulations at their discretion without prior notice no loitering sleeping or panhandling no skateboarding rollerblading bike riding or any other activities made for in traffic no tents shacks temporary or permanent structures of any kind allowed which should kind of give a hint about how they're treating property down there because while they can't forbid uh, personal property and very interesting one nice if they want to profile that as a uh, mobile home of some kind, especially the carts and other things. I'm sure that basically this is where that comes to play. Number four, no personal belongings may be left unattended. Obviously, the harassment for those that property, they really wanted to put it down to one person. No activities that are or may become an annoyance, nuisance, safety hazard, or interfere with the use of enjoyment of the grounds or retail amenities. I would really like to see those words defined, like, in a sense, like, how is it annoying, it's nuisance, safety hazard, what is it, you know. No vandalizing, defacing, damaging, or destroying property, or using a facility or improvement for any unintended purposes. We can't even improve anything about these things. If we are beneficial, we might even get trouble for picking up trash or something, or maybe if we erase chalk that is, uh, Equally illegal, perhaps? I don't know. I'm um, going to take a quick walk through the plaza just because uh, we just discovered this pretty much today and, and it's become a great haven. There's, there's just a lot of great things here. It's a lot more pleasant. The water up here keeps things a little more cool. Obviously, the park itself is a lot more shaded. So it's like a it big, yeah, it's kind of like, it pretty much is like a square. It's like kind of what it intends. It's like a plaza square. So again, uh, to address what they're saying about it being a public, public, all that, they didn't say it's a public park. It is a private property being run as a city slash state park that is publicly accessible. And take note that there is definitely a fence around it. So, I mean, it is closed at night versus other parks, you know, anything Pershing Square or City Hall, technically these things basically are, don't have walls around them, even though City Hall currently does have a temporary one. Uh, let's see. So, again, because of the way this is being ran, the nature of it definitely allows, just as the law board, the rules on this thing said, very vaguely and basically as they choose to enforce. And another thing, again, the officer made very clear that, uh, you know, these security guards, by the authority of the private property down in the park can make arrests based on their judgment uh, or assessment of these rules. So, again, many, many more loopholes, many, many things that really just are there, just after at all times. Again, thank you to everyone up right now watching this, always keeping things accountable for us, keeping us safe, not for you guys. We'd be gone. We wouldn't be here for you to watch anyways. <laughs> so thank you, thank you, thank you. I think we'll go back to the streamer and uh, call it a day. Well, not call it a day because we need to do this again in a second. So we are back to 
You are a local host. Do you want your hair done? Yeah. What the hell? LAPD states this is a public park, but it's a private park. Does not make sense. I totally agree with you. What is that? Brenbu? Is that what that says? So a public park can be a private park. Okay. What the fuck? Binto. Binto? That's how much it costs. It's a gorgeous park. It totally overlooks the, the city here. Um, if you've seen that movie 500 Days of Summer, this uh, park was in that that film. I started watching it. Yeah. So you didn't, you didn't finish? Yeah. 500 Days of Summer? It just starts off by saying that this is not a love story, and then it it goes on looking like a love story, but by the end you're like, it's not a love story. That's what it's about. It's about like relationships and how like different people perceive. Like there could be two people in the same relationship, and they're having two different complete relationships. Probably like everybody in their ex. All right. Well, I think I'm gonna stop streaming now. Um, Cause really, ain't nothing going on. Just people enjoying a, a beautiful summer day here in Los Angeles. All right, but I'll be here. So. If any, if the cops give us a minute, we'll be back.